10 practical no-brainer ways to save money. Saving money doesn't always have to be a big endeavor. <laughs> there are really some simple things we can do that don't require a ton of effort. So we're going to discuss 10 simple things you can do to save money. Number 10 is the most important one and the most ignored piece of advice. So hi, I'm Eva. I am the founder of Fierce Rich Money. After two years of unemployment, I'm back in debt. So I got out of debt before with my plan and I'm doing it again. This channel is about the normal ways of getting out of debt, not the extreme ways that litter the internet. All right, so what are some very simple things we can do? Number one, embrace minimalism. Now, I get it. We're all tired of hearing that. My style is shabby chic. I like a bedroom that looks like a French cottage exploded with enough floral pillows and candles to burn the place down. I'm not talking about the get rid of everything except for like three forks, a plate, two pairs of shoes. All right, not that kind of minimalism. I'm talking about the kind about reducing expenses to focus on the things that truly matter. So instead of buying 14 cheap floral pillows from Target, I would rather spend money on like one good quality one. A room that has too much clutter personally gives me anxiety, no joke. Um, by decluttering your space and letting go of things that are just collecting dust, you will also save time. Like. How much money do, I'm sorry, how much time do we spend dusting and moving things around? If you can't bring yourself to get rid of it, then put it in a box, store it in the basement, the attic, the garage with all the other stuff. Um, you know what? You can donate it or better yet, sell it. You know, I'm not judging. I come from, <laughs> from neat hoarders. And for a long time, I had an issue with clutter. I've gotten it out of control. I've gotten it under control for the most part. Um, the <laughs> A clean, de decluttered space now gives me a sense of peace and clarity and doesn't send my anxiety like into overload. All right, DIY projects. So this can go either way. If you know what you're doing, great. We had an issue with our dryer vent, um, the thing being clogged. We took care of it without calling someone. Um, there was an issue with a light switch. I called the professionals. You know what? Electricity is not something I'm going to mess around with, right? There are a million tutorials on YouTube. From there, you can figure out if you're able to DIY it yourself. Um, I was going to bring my car to the mechanic because the headlight went out. You know what? Luckily, it was on the driver's side, and YouTube showed me how to fix it. Had it been on the passenger side then I would have needed a mechanic, so. Um, so yay me. All right, meal planning and cooking at home. You know what, that's a no-brainer. Eating out adds up. You know, I didn't go out to eat. I, I no longer go out to eat during the week, but I plan for at the least one meal out on the weekends. I also meal plan and prep on the weekends, you know, when, you know, and when that's done, I'm tired and I want someone to cook for me. Uh, the other thing about cooking is you control the quality, nutritional value, and all of that. All right. Number four, buy in bulk when you can. Um, if you can do it, great. Make sure you're going to use up all the products. All right. Buying in bulk can be a great way to save on money on items you use. Keep an eye out for sales and discounts and stock up on the essentials when they're available. Um, it's, but again, you have to use it. Shop the sales flyer. Um, you know what? Stock up on your regular products when they're on sale. I do that with meats. Um, I've never bought a two pack of chicken breast. Like, come on. <laughs> Like, I always get, like, the big package. Use cash back and reward programs. You know what? Take advantage of that. There's um, there's so many out there. They're offered by credit cards, shopping apps, retailers to earn money back on your purchases. Um, in the box below, I have an affiliate link to Fetch and Rakuten. Is that how it's pronounced? Uh, if you use it, we both get extra stuff. So that's there. 
negotiate bills and expenses. My daddy taught me everything is negotiable. Don't be afraid to negotiate with service providers like the phone company, cable providers, insurance companies. And you know what? Try to lower your monthly bill. You will, you will be surprised um, at how willing they are to work with you. Number eight, secondhand shopping. Thrift stores, consignment shops, and online marketplaces. It, it may take a little digging, but there are gems out there. Buying used items will save you money. It also supports sustainable shopping practices, all right? I love good consignment. Automate your savings. Set up an automatic transfer from your savings account, from your checking account to your savings account when you get paid. This can help you set up a savings without even thinking about it. And number 10, this is the most important one. Use what you have. How many times have you bought something because you forgot you had it already? How many black cardigans can one person need? The answer is seven, all right? I have a rule now that when I buy something, I have to get rid of something. And one day I am going to follow that rule. But in the meantime, seven black cardigans is still the right number. All right. So by implementing these innovative <laughs> and practical strategies for saving money, um, you know, embracing frugal living, which I hate that word frugal, but I'm using it right now. You know, you can take control of your finances, reduce stress, and improve your overall well-being, especially by decluttering, again, my anxiety. And remember that, um, yeah, I hate the word frugal, but <laughs> being aware can lead to financial stability, all right? Um, that's the important thing. And again, I hate the word frugal. I've got a video on it and why I hate it, but it is what it is. So box below links to affiliate links to Rakuten and Fetch. I even have, um, Home Chef there. I like Home Chef. We, we do that, um, semi-regularly. Uh, it's definitely for us cost-effective, um, so again, that link is in there and, you know, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one.